This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals course. I'm on, well, course D of it, Lesson 7, Drawing Shapes with Loops, Part 10. Challenge Puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. I am ready. Let's see here. All right. Look for a pattern and make this code shorter using loops. All righty. We have 18 blocks right now. They want us to only have five blocks, okay? So let me hit run and see what all that code does. Oh, you see how I'm moving through the code? Oh, ooh, fancy. And if the color is set to random, does it change each time? Yes. Let's speed that up a bit. Oh, that's cool. All right. So now they want us to use a loop to repeat our code. So let's look for, well, repeating code. So set width, all right, we make our pin width 60. Then we set the random color, so it picks some random color. Then we move forward by 80 pixels, which should draw the first line. Then we turn right by 45 degrees. Okay. Now we set the color again. Oh, really? Huh, that looks similar. Move forward by 80. Exactly the same. Turn right, 45. Wait a minute, we're repeating code now. Okay. This and this are the same code. And, oh, look, another set color. So let's drag this back over here. Oops. Notice, this is the same as, the, other than set width, all of this code is the exact same. And they do it several times. We set width, right? We, we set color, we move forward, and we turn right. So we don't need to say this so much. We can just use a handy loop. I'm going to get rid of all of it, actually. Because, instead, I can use this pink block, which is a loop. It is a repeat block. So instead of writing all of that code four times, any code inside of this block will run four times, right? Or five, or how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna drag all this, drop it in here, and the code's gonna run through, pick a random color, move forward, turn a little bit right, hit this, and loop back around and do it again. Let's see, I thought eight. Let's see if this works. Ta-da! Awesome. So that's what we needed. We needed to get that code in our looping block. Great. Challenge complete. Let's uh, keep going.